Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you what is composition and how to use class composition in Python. So to start with, I have two classes here. One is an employee class and other is the salary class. Now in the salary class, I have this init method, which takes two argument pay and bonus, and it sets these two arguments to the member variables of this class. Also, I have a method called annual salary, which is used to calculate the salary. Now in the employee class, I have this constructor, which takes four arguments, which is name, age, pay and bonus. Now, what do you think? Can we apply inheritance here? The answer is no, because there is no is our relationship between salary and employee. So employee is not a salary and salary is not an employee. But somehow I want to delegate the responsibility of calculating the employee's salary to the salary class because calculating salary is in itself is a big task. I have just simplified this uh, class in the form of just calculating the annual salary. But the employee can have his own taxes or he has taken some leaves or many factors affects the salary of an employee. So this salary calculation, let's say we want to delegate to the salary class, but whose salary is this? This salary is the employee's salary. So we know that we cannot use inheritance here, but we can use a concept called composition here. And the composition means that we are just delegating some responsibility from one class to the another class. So how to delegate this responsibility? We can uh, just create one uh, more variable here. For example, self dot obj underscore salary, which is the salary object we are going to create using the salary class. Okay. And this salary class takes two parameters, one is pay and other is bonus, which we are already providing using the employee init method. So I'm going to just pass this pay comma the bonus into the salary class. So we are instantiating the salary class inside the employee class. So here one class, which is an employee class acts like a container of the other class which acts like a content okay so salary class is the content and the employee class is the container of this salary class now in order to calculate the total salary we can define one more method here and i'm going to just say total underscore salary and then what we are going to do is we are going to call our object salary member variable because this gives us the object of the salary. So I'm going to just call object salary and we can call this method from the salary class, which gives us the annual salary. And now I'm going to just create the object of this employee class. So let me just write EMP is equal to employee, which takes four parameter. First is name. Second is the age. Third is the pay. So let's say pay is 15,000 and the bonus is 10,000. And now I just want to print the total salary of this employee. So I can just write print and then EMP object dot the total salary, which is total salary method. And you can see here this total salary is returning. Let me just use the return keyword also because we are returning this annual salary from the salary class using this total salary method. So let's run the code once again and let's see what happens. And you can see annual salary is printed and this annual salary is calculated using the salary class. So what this employee class has done, it has delegated some responsibility to the other class, which is the salary class, which gives us the annual salary of an employee. And this here is called composition. Now, one interesting thing which you will notice here is we are not instantiating salary here. We are just instantiating the salary 
inside an employee class. So as soon as you delete an instance of an employee, the salary class instance will be automatically deleted. So whenever you want to delegate some responsibility of one class to the another class, it's called composition. One more example of composition can be a book class and a chapter class. So a chapter is not a book and book is not a chapter, but we can delegate some responsibility from a book class to the chapter class. So this is how you can use composition in Python. I hope you have learned something new this time and I will see you in the next video.